Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky C here. Welcome to the start of my career mode and kind of the first career mode I guess I've ever done. Um, it was the first hot lap I ever released yesterday, it was around Monaco. Um, so I thought, because online is so fucking bad right now, that career mode might be viable because the the um, AI are actually okay at the moment. They seem pretty quick or either I'm new to the game and just slow. So... I decided I'd be Marcus Ericsson in the Sauber. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I didn't want to be Mana because I was about three or four seconds off the pace with them. Um, and McLaren, I wasn't really... Um, I thought maybe the Sauber would be the best bet because I'd assume the McLaren's pretty slow as well as the Mana. Um, so I might be able to get a couple of podiums here and there with the Salva. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so I've decided I'm going to be doing normal weekend. You can see a uh, short weekend there is basically, I think, 15 minutes practice, one short qualifying, and a 25% distance race. Uh, normal weekend is a 30-minute practice session, a 18-minute qualifying, and a 50% race, like AOR. And long weekend is obviously uh, like FP3, which is 60 minutes practice, then full qualifying, so the Q1, Q2, Q3, and then a 100% race, which I can't sit and play a racing game for that long on one track, unless I'm practicing for an AOR championship race. Um, so I'm going to be doing no assists, as you'd probably expect. Um, my The level of driver is legend. Uh, Park Bome is going to be on, etc, etc. You can see all the assists there, everything's off. Pit assist, I don't know what pit assist does, I just put it off. Thought, fuck it, why not? We'll see what happens. So here we can start the season. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that championship mode isn't yourself, so you can't actually have, like I couldn't have Richard Clark uh, as my driver and then Irish as nationality. I may be English, but I'm half Irish and I'd rather have Irish as my nationality for whatever reason. I think it's just more unique to myself because back in the AOR championship days everybody had like the Great British sign and I was like fuck that. I'm going to have Irish. But here we go. Australia. Is it a beautiful game? It's quite nice. So we got a couple of DRS zones here uh, that should aid me probably getting overtaken because I imagine I'll qualify quite well and then do absolutely awful in the race. This is Australia, not Mexico. So McLaren is a much nicer car to look at. It's probably the ni one of the nicest cars in the field, but you know. Right. The excitement builds. It's good to je hear, Jeff. Thanks. I appreciate it a lot. Right. The garage. Looking pretty plain. Um, gonna get my iPad here from my fellow, my fellow engineer. Um, we're gonna be using options in this practice session. I don't think I'll show any of the practice session. Um, probably just the end times. Um, I'll maybe maybe the setup. Yeah, here we go. This is all um, pre-recorded by the way, so I'm commentating over it. Um, I didn't feel I could commentate and race at the same time and be of any use watching. Um, I can't actually see what's happening with the set up because I'm I'm recording this through for Sony Vegas so I'll try and talk you through it. Um front suspension, I don't really know anything about this app at the moment. I think I watched a hot lap video from Noble two nine oh nine. So this is kind of based off of his setup. I don't think it's the exact same, but this is just kind of a general thing that I've been going for so far on this game. I've never really been very good with setups, so I kind of just copy other people's and try and go as fast as I can with them. Um here and there I'll have a go but I, maybe I don't have a good enough feel for the car and it kind of I don't think I can relate that to the actual setup very well but we'll call it Sauber here I believe 
Um, and we'll get on track with the iPad back to my man. Um, I feel the iPad thing is really awesome the first time you look at it. And then every single time after that, it's just time consuming and awful. But they put it in the game. I'd, I, it would be good if you could just kind of skip the animation and just go, just have to do it once maybe in a session. And then you can just look at the computer screen in front of you. But that's not how they've done it. Um, they've also got this really cool broadcast thing for offline and online, which should be helpful for watching other people's laps. Um, I guess if they can't. <laughs> But if you're in a qualifying session, you shouldn't be watching other people's laps. You'd be trying to do it yourself. Um, so here we go. The car's quite, I'm um, quite bad under braking. I'll I'll go to turn in, and the car will kind of step out left and right, and it catches me out quite a few times. But that's kind of I think the Sauber and the Manor have it the most. I haven't raced another car that has it online or in time trial. Um, so at the end of the qualifying session, we were about two and a half seconds off the pace, one twenty nine five. Pretty much the same as uh, Felipe Nazo in the same class. That's quite promising to see that on the same tyres we're pretty much the same pace. So maybe that'll show that I'll be able to race the AI properly. And here we have Mr. Will Stevens getting grid penalties in practice for collisions with two different drivers, which is brilliant. Right, and this is my um, my lap. So going into turn one, eighth gear, straight down to third, hit the apex and pretty slow exit to be fair, DRS on 6th gear up to 7th going into turn 2, hit the brakes as hard as we can, the back end usually steps out with some rear locking but there we don't seem too bad, 3rd gear for, for um, turn 3 you want as wide exit uh, entry as you possibly can, really fast right hand and now kind of rid the curb a little bit, rode the curb a little bit, I'm not sure what that, not sure what that is, um, we haven't got a cut yet I don't think so it's going well so far around Australia because it's quite notorious for cutting. Uh, in seventh gear now, going into turn, fuck knows. They got a nice curb there. They, that needs to be implemented in more to, uh, corners around every track because it's way too easy to cut on this game. You don't get punished at all for hitting the curbs. There needs to be nice high curbs where you bounce over them and spin the car if you don't do it right. Um, I think we have a little bit of a cut here. Yeah. Um, I kind of I shouldn't have uh, finished this lap, uh, and I kind of felt bad for finishing it, but it was my fastest lap, so I thought I'd just show it. Um, the rest of the lap was pretty clean, so you know, f for future qualifying sessions, I won't do that. I'll um, I'll just end the lap. And again, we got this rear is sliding. The front tires are kind of sliding underneath us under braking. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with the setup or what's happening there, but we get round in a pretty nice time, uh, going across the line now down the pit straight, first DRS straight, and we do it in a 127.5 which is pretty good time, 9 tenths off of first which is good to see and I've actually just cut straight over to Mr Croft so I'll leave it to him. I don't think that flag was affected by gravity. The wind was very slow. Oh, what's Fernando done? I can't even see where he is, quite frankly. So we've got the grid here, this is pretty cool. We've got Verstappen in 8th, Bottas 7th, Ricardo 6th, 5th is Hamilton, so I'm about 10th ahead of Hamilton, which is pretty good. Uh, I'll take that. Just beat him off the line is going to be absolutely impossible because it's really difficult to get the starts right on this game. But anyway, um, this is the most useless thing that I think they've added. You can see your strategy, but you can't do anything with it. So well done, Card Codemasters. That's brilliant. Um, but it's a pretty cool start animation instead of sitting in your garage. Anyway, five, five lights is about to be here, and away we go. So in first gear, we need to get up to second gear as quickly as possible so we get the start right. We've already been mugged by Hamilton. Ricardo is coming up to our left, but we've just squeezed ahead of him because we're better on the brakes. A little bit of oversteer mid-corner, but that's fine. We're away. After Hamilton, we've got Bottas actually coming up the left side. But I think we should clear him and we'll be fine. See, we've got the rear is sliding again under braking, which isn't, isn't going to be good when the tyres start going off. That's going to really punish us if we keep doing that. Um, but anyway, we're away. Fifth place is a pretty good start, to be fair. I'll take that. We, we could be searching for a podium from here at least. 
But we've actually skipped on now and we've got Massa all over us, so the idea of a podium's gone flying out the window. Massa's right on our ass. We've we've just gone wide actually. So he, no, it's Bottas, sorry, my bad. Bottas is gonna be all over us into the breaking zone of turn two. He might have DRS as well, yeah, no, he definitely will. We break nicely down to down to second gear with sliding loads. Bottas has actually come up our inside side by side through turn three. That's never good. We stuck we've hung him out though. And he's actually gone wide and almost crashed into Ricardo. Anyway, we're away. We're good. We're in fifth. The tyres we're actually feeling pretty awful. You can't really see the tyres very well on this game. The gr the actual graining on the tyres, which is a bit of a shame. But here we go. We've gone wide again and Bottas is all over us. He's trying to go around the outside. I'm not sure if that'll work for him though. There's no grip out there if you're going around the outside. Now we're going side by side, side past the uh, start finish straight lap five so we're still in a pretty good position but we're backing up the field we've got a bit of a truly train going on terrible break in we've getting sideways as well oh and we've been smacked by massa i believe it is going spinning in circles gonna have to go into reverse gear oh my nightmares of bahrain season eight for me absolutely terrible perez is now sliding in the wall he's backwards we've absolutely fucked him over going into turn two now right we've mugged three people off we'll take that Right back onto Alonso now. So we've illegally took Kvyat, so I've decided to stop in the middle of the track. And now we've got that gone, so we can get chasing again. Uh, we've actually we've gone down to 14th there, going around the outside, locked up. Oh dear, this has been an absolute disaster. We got stuck between Bottas and... Not Bottas, sorry, Button and Kvyat. Um, bit of a shame. Still on lap 5. Down to 15th, 14th. Oh, and now we're going around the side of everyone. Oh, and we think between Ricardo and Verstappen, I think that was. So we've gone from 15th up to 10th in the space of about two seconds. Brilliant. Now we can start chasing again. So lap five. Coming towards the end of lap five in sector three. Oh, the car feels absolutely awful. And I think, I think it seems like we might be stopping this lap. Coming up to the final corner now. Sorry, the penultimate corner now. Uh, yep, we're going to dive into the pits, get a fresh set of options on. The tyres felt absolutely awful, so I thought, right, we'll get in, get the undercut. I had absolutely no idea how many stops I was meant to be doing. And the the bad thing about this game is that you can't tell how bad your tyres are doing. You have to interact with the engineer. Because I've disabled Connect, it, I have to click LB and then scroll down. But because once you click LB, the little animation comes up where you can choose between all the different... Uh, options that you can ask your engineer it goes within about two or three seconds it's very quick as we get massive massive slide coming out of the pit lane i'm just not used to it um right up behind mary which is basically a washing machine with a front wing and a rear wing it's an absolutely useless car if i'm four seconds off the pace <laughs> against the ai then <laughs> you know something's up with the car um a bit of a useless piece of junk but I'm not driving it, so I can give a flying fuck. And we're accelerating away down this nice straight, this nice bending straight, coming up behind another manor. It's Will Stevens. I would like him to get out of the way. Seems like he's a bit of a um, devil in this game, trying to get penalties in, in practice. We've actually got a massive slide onto the grass now, which isn't ideal. Stevens is just sitting on the inside like, that was my fault. But I think it might have been, because he could have just got out of the way. I'd have been fine, but I had to go on the outside potentially dirty tyres and fucked up the break-in, which is brilliant. Anyway, we passed him. The tyres are gone again. We've just done about seven laps on these tyres, so if you're thinking a flying lap plus the five laps I did is six, you imagine I'd probably pit this lap, and I hope I do. I'm sure I do. Um, and somehow we've got an evil, illegal overtake on air. I thought I'd leave this in here because it just shows the the game may not have been finished when they released it. Um, which is a massive shame. I think talking about the online, or th the online aspect of things, it would be absolutely fantastic if I could race against everybody, but it's just not possible. I get ghost cars every time I race, so there's just no point. Career mode is the best option, and it has been quite an interesting race so far. I'm not first, I'm fourth. Struggling massively on these tyres. I've actually got a puncture, I think. And now we've got Maldonado slapped us into the wall. He couldn't give a f monkeys. Yep, we've lost part of our front wing. Punctured left tyres, you can see there. Massive shame. We're in P4. Should have pit stopped the lap before, but obviously I don't know how bad the tyres are doing, so I've been punished for my mistake. Should have been in, in contact with my engineer. 
it, I guess it's going to make me think a lot more in the uh, in the rest of the race to keep in contact with my engineer and try and get him to kind of dictate when I should come into the stops. So here we go. Uh, front wing is going to come on. I don't think the pit stop's actually too long in the end. Maybe about eight seconds, I'm going to guess. Yeah, eight seconds. Um, so that's not so bad. 13th play, uh, 13th, 14th lap, sorry. P11. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. We've got a fresh set of tyres. Hopefully we don't have a mistake like that in the rest of the race. And let's see if we can chase some people down. So lap 17. Sliding again down in turn two. We need to stop that. We need to put the, rib, uh, the brake bias forward. Right on the back of Nazir. All over the back of him. Trying to get around him somehow. We pushed him off the track a little bit. But we're now side by side going into turn five. Four. Five. We've just sneaked past him. I actually lost my broadcaster cam at this point because the screen went black because I hadn't touched my controller for such a long time. So that will be back in the uh, rest of the race soon. So we're up into P9 now. Maldonado ahead of us. Ricardo is a back marker at the moment, unfortunately. And he has Button just ahead of him. So these are some good points we're going to be getting here if we can get past these guys. Because we got a pretty decent... No, sorry. These tyres are coming to an end. We're probably going to be pitting about lap 20. We're right on the back of them. They've probably got quite old tyres as well. I think the pit strategies aren't too uh, complicated at the moment. I think it's two two stop race if you don't get something wrong. But obviously I did. I, I decided to crash and wear out my tyres. Um, anyway, we're past button now. Pretty simple overtake to be fair. We can get on to Maldonado. But yeah, if you, uh, if you like the broadcaster cam on the left, um, let me know because it's something I thought would be quite cool to have there. Um, I know it took me a while, I had to just leave my Xbox on, go downstairs and just record the whole race again. Because I'm on the Xbox One, I'm not on PC, I can't do some magic, magic thing and get it somehow. Which I'm sure you can do on PC. Um, but anyway, in the race, looking pretty good, lap 19, P8. About to overtake Maldonado, diving down the inside, beautiful. We might be able to get this move done, but we've oh, we've hit the rear, spun. Don't think we've lost a position though, so we should be okay. We've just got passed by Matt Ricardo. That's a stupid mistake. I shouldn't have dived in there. You should never ever do that. You don't. I didn't need to. I was in a good position. Could have overtaken him later in the lap or on the next lap down the DRS straight, but I'll get punished for my mistakes. Again, the tyres are absolutely awful, so I've decided this is the lap to come in. Not going to make that mistake and uh, punch my tyre again. So, lap 20, breaking into the pit lane. Let's see how uh, how quick this stop is. The stops are pretty pretty quick on this game. You should be getting about 2.4 seconds I th on the whole, I think. Um, I'm not sure about online, but we'll see how, how quick. Yeah, 2.4 seconds, prime tyres. This will take us to the end of the race. Uh, a good points position at the moment, P9. Do we get overtaken to P10? Yep, Button flies past us, but that's okay. We got fresher tyres than him be able to get onto the back and hopefully overtake him ASAP. In his slipstream, pulled out to the right, breaking down into this nice turn. Oh, we've gone a little bit wide. Gear, gear three on exit. Perfect. Coming into the fast left right chicane. We should be able to get away from, uh, from the McLaren of Button because that engine is pretty bad. Um, if the Manor is a washing machine, I would imagine that the McLaren is a Dyson Hoover. Anyway, Perez has got stuck in the middle of the turn and we've actually punctured our left tyre. I think he had a puncture as well going through that turn. I just didn't slow down fast enough. Lap 23, this isn't good now. P10, about to get overtaken by Nazir for P11. Gone across the, uh, across the grass because the turning is just incredibly sharp when you have a puncture and you're going that slowly. But what a shame now. We've, we've punctured the tyre. P11 towards the end of the race. Six laps to go. Chance of massive points there if I just kept consistent. But it looks like I've completely thrown it down the toilet. So my second stop for another, for a rear wing and a puncture. Um, couldn't have gone worse really, could it? Well, actually quick. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> so I, I slapped into the back of him, got a puncture, but didn't break my front wing. Yet another fantastic show of my code masters, code masters, uh, code writing. Oh, and again, we come into the back of someone with a puncture, going through that fast right hander, uh, and instead of puncturing the right wheel, which is the one that hit the car, we punctured the left wheel, and the front wing is absolutely fine still. Bottas and I just having a little bit of a a demolition derby now as we come into the pits on lap 27. This race has gone well and truly down the shitter. 
Um, I've driven like a sack of shit, quite frankly. Coming across the line now, wasn't going to show that pit stop. Was that about 15 pit stops for new front wings and tyres? Three punches, brilliant. P11, not exactly the way I want to finish a race, but here we go, Marcus Ericsson. He's not happy with this race, is he? He's not happy at all. Ah, P11, and the sad thing is, I would have finished in 10th if I hadn't have crashed my front wing out. <sighs> That's a pretty positive way to start the season, though. I was fast. Um, I had a quick qualifying, finished, uh, started in P4. If I hadn't made mistakes, I could have got a top six easily. But I think that'll be the end of uh, Australia career mode part one in the Sauber with Marcus Ericsson. Um, if you guys like the video, drop me a like. Um, I'm going to kind of hopefully, maybe, start uploading regularly. I know I never have on F1. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess that'll be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.